Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is finally the empty flat tour and I really, really hope this is gonna come out okay because I'm so, so, so annoyed at myself. I forgot my camera on the one day that I had to film this video for Sunday. Um, so I'm recording on my phone. If it's a bit juddery, if the quality isn't as good, I'm really sorry. If you're watching this, I'm sure it's good enough. Um, I'm gonna go with that anyway. So without further ado, let's get cracking. I've now had the keys for maybe like just over two weeks. So there is, it's not a completely empty flat tour. Not that you believe it with the amount of echoing going on. It's not completely empty because I do have things like, you'll see it in a minute, but I do have some coffee tables and some mirrors and a bar cart, um, but it's a mostly empty flat tour. So I can literally see the camera juddering all the time. I really hope this is gonna work. Okay, so here's my front door. Absolutely nothing to get excited about. Um, then you walk in here, in here is my cupboard of doom. I'm going to give you the quickest, 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 quickest look into here because I'm genuinely embarrassed about the cupboard of doom. <laughs> but we've got quite a lot of storage up here, quite a bit of storage up there. Um, and this is all of the painting supplies left over, which will be moved out eventually. And that cupboard is going to be sorted. And then we come into the main living area we also see the dirtiest mirror in the entire world i don't have enough supplies yet i don't have anything to properly clean it yet it will happen bear with me not that any of you will care about a dirty mirror although actually this is the internet so maybe some of you really will be offended by my dirty mirror okay going in um so here we have quite a decent amount of space here this is where i'm going to have a dining table um when i do like a full flat tour or like a living room tour i will explain like where initially i was going to put things and then where i've decided to change them so initially this was just going to be an open area with a massive mirror um, more of like a decorative corner and then when you look at the rest of the place i was going to have a, be a breakfast bar when you actually look around it was just like this would have been wasted space um so now we're going to have a dining room table if you have any recommendations for colors once you hear the rest of what i'm going to do um or just amazing tables i'd love to hear it and then you come around into sort of the main living area here obviously there's a kitchen around the corner which i'll take you to into a second um and as you can see i have a very minimal amount of furniture so i will show you in a second but i've got my coffee table no sofa for at least another i think it's four to five weeks which is very annoying but it is what it is um so yeah and then we come around here this is going to be my little bar area so i'm gonna have big plant in the corner maybe some frames on there to on the floor um to cover the plug sockets um and then i think this is going to be moved slightly over i'm thinking possibly a neon sign here or some like artwork above here not entirely sure do let me know your thoughts and then this is going to be kind of i'm very cautious of showing outside my windows um this is kind of going to be like sofa here obviously tv unit here tv either on the wall or just on the unit and then obviously i will fill this area with plants and all of the good things um this mirror i know is so love or hate it's from the tiktok like trend of the foam mirror i'm still hello lads i'm still um quite a fan of this but to be honest i am well i have already ordered um a new one which i'm picking up tomorrow i just brought it here to put in the room so i could fill it up a bit more these oh god this pampas plant is i think it's from oh, it was like fleur and something i'll pop it on the screen h&m vase pink himalayan salt lamp because all about that good energy that lamp is from Matalan and I've got a little H&M holder also I will link up everything in here below but I just thought I'd tell you those things so in classic classic me style I have a blush pink <laughs> corner sofa or like a l-shaped chaise sofa here um and what else have I got come in and I've also got like a creamy white chair that's gonna sit here and then we're gonna have um a dining table and some chairs here now, in terms of colour schemes, I've changed my mind 10 million times. Initially, I was going for light pink and light blue and cream. So have it all really soft, but get a bit of pastel in there. Um, but I've seen a lot of really beautiful like teal greens and a lot of beautiful like navy velvet, um, you know, chairs and like different accents. So I'm really, really undecided. I think I'm actually going to go for um, mix things up and do a very un-L like 
get some monochrome in here is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, not even monochrome, but I'm going to have the pink and I'm going to have maybe like more jewel tones like the navy or the teal and then actually get some darker accents just to kind of, I don't know, give it a bit of an edge. The least edgy person in the entire world. Um, just give it something a little bit different. Um, so that is the living area. And then obviously in this corner, and then obviously I'm probably going to have some form of print here. I absolutely despise this radiator. So if anyone knows any way of covering this up or changing this kind of radiator, then feel free to let me know. I might even have like a, uh, what's the opposite of a deep, a very shallow unit here, maybe with a mirror, maybe not a mirror because I'm going to have a massive one there, with some artwork or something above it here. Um, the most bougie thing that I've got in this flat at the moment, a made.com bin, because it's like the only thing from maids that I can actually justify buying. And then we come around here into the kitchen, which um, is actually, as you can see, like a really, really decent size, considering this is a one bedroom apartment in London. Um, I, I was going to say had an issue, which is far too over the top. I never, ever liked this kitchen from the moment that I saw it from, you know, from the first view in all the way till I got in. Um, initially, they had like a blue wall here and everything else was magnolia. And now that everything's white, I kind of don't hate it that much anymore. I was going to spray paint um, or get someone in to like properly take all the units apart and spray them in a different colour. Um, but <laughs> I did try this with chalk paint and it went horribly, horribly wrong. Um, so I think instead what I'm actually going to do is obviously i've got some stuff on here already i think i might and if anyone has done this before and has any advice let me know get like a, a vinyl contact paper like splashback because i've looked into that quite a lot maybe something i don't know I'm, i think i might get marble on top i feel like people might say no don't do that because of xyz but tell me not to if it's a bad idea and then get a different one along this like sort of skirting bit here and then a different one for the splashback um but it's actually like the units are really nice i mean i've got basically nothing in there anyway but they're like super deep um units and i mean look at literally look how empty it is i've got a massive ikea order coming tomorrow but i have so much storage in here so i actually quite like these units and i'm not that fussed about changing them but i just need to work out work out how i'm going to make this gray work but this is the kitchen also initially this is what i was saying about this area i was going to have like a breakfast bar here and some stalls instead of um Let's see if this is helpful instead of where I'm actually going to have the dining room table over here. But because um, also it kind of separates this room off a bit. But I don't know if you can see, but it would have just been like such a wasted space. So that's what I'm doing. So this is the hallway. Again, this is the mirror. By the way, if you watch my previous vlog, I, um, I like sort of DIY this and sprayed it with a chalk paint. Um, whenever I ask anyone what they think, they're like, oh, it looks rustic, which... <laughs> I think means the jewellery is still out. So come along here and then oh, I'm going to move all this out so it is actually empty when you actually see this. This is the bathroom. Um, so again, like a really decent size. I think the thing that drew me to this flat was that even though it's a one bed, which is perfect for me, all of the rooms are, well, to be honest, a lot bigger than every other flat that I saw in London for this price. Um, I don't hate the bath. Obviously, I've got some bits in as well. They're literally, nothing will actually look like this. They're just shoved in because I brought them over. I might as well talk in the mirror. Um, this was the one room that I was like, I will pay to do an absolutely like massive, not massive refurb, but I'm going to rip all of it out and, you know, change absolutely everything about it. And then I actually sat and thought about it and just thought, I'm only going to be in this flat for... A few years like five years absolute tops i won't make the money back like i got quite a lot of quotes and a lot of them were like 15 round grand onwards for this and the same for the kitchen um i'm never going to make that money back in that amount of time so it just it wouldn't make sense to do that so i'm actually going to get my friend hayley from frock me i'm famous who has her own um design company called run wild designs so i'll link everything up below i'm gonna film some videos and take some pictures for her after and just say hayley sort me out what can i do with this and she's gonna give me a, give me some ideas and then i'm gonna transform the room and she's very good at doing it on a budget as well so if you're looking to transform your place um 
and you want like a, a virtual designer, I guess, that's exactly what she is, then definitely check her out because she's amazing at giving kind of ideas and telling you exactly what, you to, what to do if you haven't got a clue like me. Um, so this room was like a very light gray. I hate that. I should have painted that white. It drives me mad. Um, I don't hate it. It's just a bit beige and boring. Um, I would never choose to have gray tiles. I've got a bit of an issue with gray, despite the fact that my bathroom and my kitchen is gray. So I don't know, I'm tempted to paint the tiles with tile paint. Let me know if anyone's done that and whether it's a terrible idea. Obviously the rest of it is just white and very clean looking, which is, you know, it's nice to have it looking clean, but I need to drastically do something about it because it just doesn't feel very mean. It feels quite, um, medical is the wrong word. It feels quite clinical. Um, so this is the bathroom, but it's a really decent size. Initially, I was gonna rip that out and have a freestanding bath here and a shower over here. And then I just thought this is ridiculous considering um, how much I'm gonna be spending. So I really hate that splashback as well. Anyway, we're gonna make some changes, but it's a really good size. So I'm very lucky with the size of this. Then come out of the bathroom and into the bedroom, which is a very odd shape. Um, but it's it's quite it's quite a decent sized bedroom. Of it, so I've got my bed here, which I haven't put up yet because I'm getting a new carpet. Hence why this is all ripped out and looks trampy and disgusting. Um, but as you can see, it was not left in a beautiful state. Um, and there's my mattress on here. So yeah, and uh, maybe you can see it better from this point of view. Um, it is a pretty decent sized room actually. So I'm going to have my bed here. I'm out of breath. I've got my IKEA packs open wardrobe going here, some units and stuff here, maybe a little desk in this corner, and then maybe like a chest of drawers or something here. Ideally, I wanted like a little chill area corner. Absolutely love this room. I love the light that comes through in the afternoon. Also, I don't know if you can see this, but right into right into the distance. Got a cute little London skyline. But yeah, this is the bedroom. Um, so yeah, this is the bedroom. The colour of the walls are Dulux blush pink. I absolutely, they look a, a lot warmer because the sun's coming in, as I said, probably already. I love the light that comes through here in the afternoon, especially kind of late afternoon. It like sits against this wall really, really beautifully. Um, maybe this is a better angle of the colour. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's just a really nice light. And that is my flat. Uh, Obviously, this video is going to be about four hours long because I've taken you around the mansion. Um, no, I laugh, but I, I love this place. As soon as I saw it, I was always looking for a one bed. Um, and everything that I saw within the budget that I had and in the areas that I was looking in, this was by far, by far the biggest. Um, and even just like a totally different layout, like so many are just kind of the narrow, straight down straight down on a little bit like a, a vanilla um, kind of shape. Like I looked at a lot in Stratford. I looked, well, a lot everywhere actually. And this was just my favorite and it felt like home as soon as I stepped in. So yeah, this is my slightly empty, <laughs> not so empty flat tour. I am filming on the phone, so I feel like I keep looking in the wrong, in the wrong way, but I'm trying desperately to look at the camera. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy here already. I've got, so much furniture left to come in, but I am already enjoying like turning this into a little home. And there's so much obviously that I've got to do to it and that I want to do to it. So yeah, if you've got any ideas for anything, then chuck them my way. Cause I'm so open to ideas. And I like my favorite thing in the world is looking at home accounts, looking at home videos. All I look at is like bathroom transformation on a budget or like kitchen transformation. So anyone that you love that is particularly good at those things send them my way um but yeah this is me little flat i was gonna say let me know what you think but maybe don't because i feel like quite protective of it so if you if you think it's cute and sweet then let me know <laughs> please be kind um but yeah god i feel like i've had a child and i don't want people to call my little kid ugly anyway um i hope you enjoyed the video please feel free to give it a big thumbs up as i already said in one of my other videos each room that i do I'm gonna do like a living room transformation, kitchen transformation, because I am gonna change quite a lot of a lot of the place. Um, and also this is already really different to how it was when I first had it because all the walls were different colors and, and honestly like quite disgusting. So um, yeah, all of the transformations are on their way or will be when they're finished. And then of course I will do a full, full flat tour, which is very exciting and probably a long way off, but stick with me. Thanks so much for watching guys.
Bye.